Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My name is Sabu and I'm back with another reaction In today's video we'll be reacting to Indonesian uh, soccer fans or football fans So stay tuned, that reaction will be coming in just a couple of minutes For those of you who are new, I make reaction videos, travel, vlogs, food review uh, and other positive uh, content So if you like those kind of videos, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn notification on so you're notified when a new video is uploaded Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back with the reaction Thank you very much for coming back. Let's get into the video. Nothing comes close to Southeast Asia. The Kung Fu Tifo will uh, lead us to singing in the stadium for 90 minutes. No one like us. Wow. It's a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> Second Division Indonesian club boasts extremely high attendances and have a supporters scene that can rival the best in Europe. Located in central Java, Indonesia, we rarely hear about football in this part of the world, but these supporters are a story. Wow, just like the Moroccan fans. They're a second tier team and they've been a second tier team for 10, 12 years now. I first saw them play in the top flight against Persija and even then they took about 700 fans to Jakarta. So the support base has always been there, but I think it's expanded phenomenally in the last six or seven years. I think in the early 2000s, mostly Indonesian people start to get internet connection, and it brings us the information about Ultra and how they support their club, like Choreo and Chance and maybe Chance Flag. Yeah, it's inspired us. 2011, didasari oleh tujuh komunitas-komunitas kecil Ultras PSS bersama tujuh komunitas tersebut membentuk suatu memba, membentuk Brigata Kurvasut setelahnya sampai sekarang ini Brigata Kurvasut semakin bertambah besar dan total sekarang ada sekitar 250 komunitas fans. seluruh warga Sleman mereka sangat ingin mereka sangat ingin PSS mencapai ke puncak kejayaan mungkin ke Liga Champion Asia seluruh warga Sleman menginginkannya kita saling bangun baru di masyarakat wah wow, so cool 3D <laughs> Standing and singing for 90 minutes. Wow. Ten years ago, when I first started doing English football, Arama, Aramania were the go-to fans. You know, if you wanted to go see any English football, you went to see Arama. Um, but now, you go to see Arama. BGS ini beberapa kali memberikan atraksi. It's a wonderful side to the whole when you see 15,000 fans. No leader, just together. It looks so cool. Everybody's moving, flags are flying. The ultras in the Brigata Curva Sud are incredible. Their supporters group has grown to such a level that they now literally sponsor the club. BCS memberikan royalty lewat toko official merchandise-nya dan akhirnya mereka menjadi sponsor dari PSS Sleman. As long as this movement grows and we can get... There's some positive stuff comes out of it, right? The fans are supporting the team. Gives the team a good mood, like they play and with their heart. And what is more, they have a female section with over 1,000 members, something wow. relatively unknown in Europe, let alone the largest Muslim country in the world. All I want to say about football is no gender in football. We have three football clubs in this city, and they have groups like us. But I think there's no bigger than Ladies Group Asset. LTS is first formed at 2012. We start a specific female so they don't feel fear to watch 
football match. There's no difference between the girls and the boys. The connection between us and the BKS is to help each other to make a movement for PSS Sleman. Other groups like LCS, no one like us. <laughs> you can join with us. Together we support PSS Sleman. PSS Sleman's ultras live by the same ideals as the ultras in Europe. On their recent away day, we saw just how well coordinated they can be. We missed the first half because uh, the policemen of Banyu must want to sweeping us, looking for uh, alcohol and uh, weapon guns. They stop all the bus. Usually in Indonesia, the policemen after the sweeping will uh, allow the supporter away to travel to the stadium. But this time, I don't know why, they taught us to come back to the Sleman again. Mm. Couple guys from us think how to make a movement or at that place. And the movement was uh, we singing in the middle of the street. The police wouldn't let them go to the stadium so start singing in the middle of the street. <laughs> Jam and the police will start thinking because uh, this like uh, disrupt the situation in the city after maybe 10 until uh, 20 minutes they allow us to go to the stadium to enter the stadium and they force the police to let him go to the stadium <laughs> man Or an example. Despite struggles with local police, their Whoa, leaders, that's a lot of toilet paper. They the show to the stadium. Their dedication to their local team is something that feels all too uncommon in football nowadays. Made stronger by this collective mentality, they've managed to bring together the club, a substantial group of female supporters, and gain more fame than perhaps any other team in their country. Got me into it too. That, that's crazy. I, I've um, seen the Moroccan fans, I think Raja and one of the other ones. And those guys were pretty extreme too. Like the way they were chanting, there was flares and it was crazy. Um, but these guys, it's the same. So I hope you guys like this reaction. If you did, as always, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you'd like me to react to another video, please put it in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys' love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video. Wassalam.